Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very quick little update video for you guys. Now, if you didn't know or you're new to my channel, I did partner with, was it five, six YouTubers now that we have? Originally it started off with me and Melissa Gold and we've had a few other people join in and we're doing a collab project pan video and we're all trying to pan one of our favorite Pat McGrath palettes. So basically Kat and Melissa love Pat McGrath and Kat kind of put it out there that she wanted to try and pan a palette in a year, a Pat McGrath palette and I was like, can I try that? Because I don't feel like I'd be very good at it, but if I have some support, it might work out. And so we started up this collab and we invited anyone that was interested to join and we did get some takers, so yay! And if you're watching this palette and you're interested, definitely DM one of us on Instagram. We would love to add you to our group. I'm also trying to get a community playlist going of all of our videos. It is proving to seem a lot more difficult than I thought. Samantha March clearly makes community playlists look easy because she created the Will I Buy playlist. And I think that one has like over 200 videos on it already. Yeah, we're struggling. So if you guys are technical, definitely leave me a comment down below and give me some advice. I've managed to create it and I've shared the link with all of them, but for some reason it's not appearing in anyone's tab where you can add your videos to playlists. So it's a little bit of a struggle. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if you need a certain amount of subscribers to be able to create a community playlist. In that case, I'll just ask one of the other YouTubers in the group to do it that might have a bigger following than I do. But yeah, it's kind of bizarre. Like, why does YouTube hate me? Anyway, I know, I think we had all discussed and we're gonna do quarterly updates, but to hold myself accountable, I'm gonna do monthly updates. I just thought it'd be a fun, quick video to share with you guys. So here I am with my first update, and this is what my palette looks like, as you guys can see. There's a huge dent in it. I'm basically gone through all of my eyeshadows, and I will be on to my next palette next month because I'm apparently so good at panning. I'm just kidding, guys. Obviously, like, there's barely, hardly a dent that has been made in this palette but what i'm really enjoying about the project pan is how much it's making me self-aware of how little i use this palette so i've been trying to make a conscious effort to use this i used it maybe three or four times since i started this project pan which is kind of horrifying i know a lot of the other creators in this project pan are probably trying to use their palettes a little bit more than i and but my favorite thing about YouTube is eyeshadow and makeup in general is eyeshadow so I do tend to buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes and then she just came out with three palettes herself so it's not very easy I have been doing just like a little bit of reflecting and you guys know I'm always trying to shop less so I thought maybe something I could try and do is buy less makeup and try to find more reasons to use this palette so that's my strategy going into the second month of this palette panning situation so I'm gonna try and do more get ready with me's with this palette I'm gonna try and do different makeup looks I also show a lot of the makeup looks I've already created with this palette on my Instagram stories so if you want to follow me on there do that as well I know somebody had commented on one of my YouTube videos and said like hey your monthly check-ins won't be boring if you post some looks that you've created so I'll try and remember to do that as well hopefully I have some saved from my previous Instagram post, but yeah, I'll try and post it more, but basically I just wanna try and remember to use this at least once or twice a week, which is really rough. It's hard for me to do that because I do wear makeup to work, and if I don't wear makeup to work, then I'm not using an eyeshadow palette, and then I'm always testing new products, so then taking two days out of my testing will delay reviews. It's just a whole, it's a whole thing. So yeah, but I did create some really beautiful looks with this. So I do feel guilty that this doesn't get enough love, but you know what, you know, like admitting the problem is what is, there's like a saying, admitting the problem is like the easiest way to find a resolution or something, something. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do I know I need to use this more. I'm not even gonna pretend that I use this as much as I should, but it's beautiful. The other thing I do, you know, realize is that I can top these on shadows. So the other day I put this on my lid and then I put this white on and it just amped up the eyeshadow. So that was really great. 
and I love that this has like Crease shades for me and a perfect like smoky color to you know darken up any eye look as well So I really like this palette. I am so happy that I was able to afford it and it's in my collection I do want to use this more which is obviously why I joined the project pan and that is my update for the month of October and I am hoping for positive vibes in the month of November and yeah, just excited about this project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this check-in. I will try and link my other co-conspirators videos down in my description box so you guys can check out their videos as well and check out their channels. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!